In this video, we're going to take a look at all of the major features recently released in Anchor Enterprise 4.0. Those features include SBOM Drift, source code repository scanning, applications, and SBOM export. Now, 4.0 really places SBOMs at the center of everything Anchor Enterprise does for software supply chain management and security by building on our already existing SBOM capabilities. The first part we're going to take a look at is SBOM Drift. So what exactly does SBOM Drift mean? Now, Drift occurs when there's a change to a build. Of course, some change is to be expected during the build process, but large changes to packages or a lot of change towards the end of the build process could be a sign of malicious activity, and that should be investigated. So now let's take a look at SBOM Drift in the Anchor UI. To detect SBOM Drift, you first need to set up a policy. We'll go into one of these examples here and edit policies. Now from here, you can select Tag Drift from the Policy menu and the trigger. You can also select the package type and finally set up which action you want to be taken if it is triggered. You can select from Stop, Warn, or Go. Now we'll take a look at what you'll see once Drift is detected. You'll be able to see a snapshot of the previous image versus the current image, and you can scroll down for more details. You can also filter the view to more quickly identify specific changes for review. Next up, we have source code repository scanning. This is a super important feature because it gives users the ability to identify dependencies, particularly open source dependencies, find vulnerabilities, and generate SBOMs from source code repos. And now we'll take a look at an example in the UI. Okay, so here we have a source code repo that we can run an analysis on. After that processes, you can see we got a number of policy violations, and you can filter for a view of all the vulnerabilities as well. From here, you can also generate a report to share with your security team for remediation. Now we'll jump into applications. This new feature lets users tag and group all of the artifacts associated with a particular application, release, or service. Then you can generate reports based on vulnerabilities and risks associated with that specific application and also monitor each application release for new vulnerabilities that may arise. This is super helpful in the event of a zero day or any new vuln really, because um, it lets you quickly identify which of your applications are affected and prioritize those for remediation. Now let's check one out in the UI. Here's one that we've already created through the API. You see we have an application group level view of policy violations and their severities and vulnerabilities as well. And similar to the source code repo scanning function, from here you can also generate application-specific reports and share those with your team. And the last feature we'll look at is SBOM export. The ability to export and share SBOMs is incredibly important for compliance, not just to share with your customers and users, but also to meet upcoming requirements such as the ones described in the Executive Order on Improving the Nation's Cybersecurity. Exported SBOMs can also be fed into other solutions, such as vulnerability scanners. Now we'll jump over to the UI and look at the same example we use for applications. You can click on SBOM report to generate. You'll see it processing, and it's as simple as that. Now you have an SBOM that can be stored and shared internally and externally outside of your organization. Thank you for joining us for a look at all of the features released in Anchor Enterprise 4.0. For more information, or if you would like to schedule a personalized demo of Anchor's SBOM management capabilities, visit us at anchor.com.